Hey everybody, Paul the Sound Guy, product specialist for sure, and on this episode we're going to be talking about preamps and gain structure. Let's get to it. The preamp on an interface or mixer has one essential job, and that's to boost the signal to a nominal level for processing. Now, microphones have a very low output, anywhere between minus 30 to minus 70 dB, so that signal needs to be increased in order to be usable. Now, this is a full spectrum boost from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz, and some preamps offer a flat, neutral boost, while other preamps may add some character to the sound, but the job is essentially the same. The preamp will have either a knob or a digital control in its software for increasing the gain. You'll want to start with the preamp set low and then increase it as the source performs. Now most preamps will have a plus 48 volt button or switch and this is referred to as phantom power. Phantom power is an electrical signal that goes from the device down the mic line to power a condenser microphone or an active dynamic or ribbon microphone or an active device like a direct box. Without phantom power, these devices won't work properly, so you'll want to have the phantom power turned off when you plug in the microphone or the device to avoid popping your speakers or damaging the microphone. Once that device is plugged in, then you can engage phantom power. Now the pad switch is there if your source material is already too loud and maybe you can't adjust it or bring that source down in volume, the pad switch will attenuate the signal by 10 to 20 dB so that you can lower it down to an adjustable level. You want to be in control of your input signal as much as possible with your gain so that you can lower or raise it as necessary. Proper gain structure is by far one of the most important functions, and this is the process of setting each input level to a nominal level so that you have plenty of headroom to avoid clipping or distorting the input, uh, but not so low that if you have to boost it later then you're increasing the noise floor or the background noise in your recording. Now before we settle on our final gain structure, we're going to want to make sure that the microphone is in the right spot. So put on some headphones and maybe move the microphone around a little bit uh, to the left, to the right, forward, backward, uh, to get the right tone that you're looking for. And this might include swapping out and changing out microphones, trying something different uh, to get the right balance that you're looking for. Now that we have the right microphone in the right spot, now we can adjust our final gain structure. Now your metering may be of dBFS or dB full scale, and this is where the zero is at the top of the meter. So usually I try to set so that my nominal level is around minus 12 dB on this scale, and that ensures that I have plenty of headroom for peaks uh, to avoid clipping or distorting the input. All right, that's it for preamps and gain structure. Remember, start with your gain set low and with phantom power off before you plug in your microphone or device, then engage phantom power if needed, and then slowly bring that level up while your source performs and bring it to around minus 12 dB full scale on your meter. You may have to move the microphone around or swap out mics to get the right tone that you're looking for, and if the source signal is too loud, then just engage that pad button, bring it down so that you can have control over that with your preamp. I hope this was helpful, and we'll see you again next time.